Okay, ready for your big surprise? I want you to meet your new Jim Conner instructor, three times X Games medalist and YouTube sensation, racing superstar, Ken Block. <laughs> hey, what's up? If you haven't seen this guy's videos, you're missing out on some really sick driving. Ken is the best Jim Conner driver on the planet, and he's also one of the sport's biggest innovators. He single-handedly raised the profile of the sport. <laughs> Come on, Christian, you're making me blush. Just tell me how it is, my amigo. Okay. So once you learn how to do Gymkhana, we'll start setting challenges for you. So be sure to pay attention to everything Ken says. All right, let's get you out there and up to speed. This is going to be fun. Nice. Welcome to Gymkhana School, Ken Block style. Bet that platinum metal tastes all the sweeter because you worked so hard to get it. This is what I'm talking about. Jumps and getting tons of air. Any tips for our driver, Ken? Well, they're really pretty easy. The trick is to find the right line into the jump. Get as much speed as you dare for some big air time. Be careful, though, as you'll need to keep it under control on the landing. So the further you fly, the higher the score. Look out for the triangles and tell you how well you did. Three triangles means you aced the trick and got maximum points.
Hold that platinum medal high, amigo. You drove your heart out today. satisfied with anything less than gold. That's a great attitude to have. Spin zones look impossible to me. A real demonstration of precision driving. What's the trick of pulling these off, Ken? Well, the spin zone's actually one of my favorite tricks. You need to drive into the marked area and get the car into a controlled spin. The more you spin, the more you'll score. The key is to approach slowly and at an angle. Then turn in and use the handbrake to get the back end out. Keep your foot on the gas and steer hard to keep it going. The longer the spin, the higher you score. If you max it out or start getting dizzy, just straighten up and drive off. The crowds love this stuff.
settle for anything less than gold. I like the way you think. Fancy a donut? In the world of Jim Connor, that word means something entirely different, right, Ken? Yeah, we've got big and small donuts here. They may look different, but they all work the same way. You just need to pull up a smooth, sideways drift around the central object. To get started, drive up like you're going past the trick, then get your car sideways by turning in hard and using the handbrake. Next, balance the throttle and the steering to keep your nose as close to the center as possible while you spin. Remember, you can only score points off the Mark Jim kind of donuts. They look pretty tricky, but I got faith. Better get to it. Driving amigo, mucho mucho grande Gymkhana skill. the Gymkhana trading like a pro. Great, let's see what you can do. For the final event of the season, I've entered you into a competitive Gymkhana event. What a killer way to wrap up your first season. You're totally ready to tear it up. This is going to be off the hook. You'll need to finish in the top three in order to qualify for the next season. Don't let me down. Freestyle Gymkhana is the ultimate in motorsport expression. It's fresh, it's new, it's loud, and it's bright. Starting out in the days when there was nothing but a couple of cones in a car park, Jim Connor now takes the center stage with custom-built arenas, mad crowds, and everything that is sick. The top drivers around the world all compete to sign their names in rubber and get the crowds going wild. Jim Connor is all about expression and personality. Make it your own, and you'll have some fans for life. You're going to love this one, amigo. You've learned all the tricks, but now comes the real challenge. You've got to string them all together and compete in a freestyle Gymkhana event. These events are all about putting on a show for the fans. Keep the crowd hooked, and this will act as a multiplier on your trick scores, earning you anywhere up to triple points. 
Ken, what's the key to keeping the crowd on your side? Well, there's three main things you'll want to remember. First, minimize your downtime by stringing tricks together as quickly as you can. Second, don't repeat the same tricks too much or the crowd will get bored. And finally, don't crash. Smashing up your car shows a lack of control. Once you're out there, everything I taught you will all fall into place. So don't worry, and good luck. We'll be rooting for you, buddy. Give them a show they'll never forget. Awesome. You gotta show that to the world. Put it on YouTube. Hey, you did a great job out there. I'm looking forward to competing against you soon. I reckon I've got some real competition on my hands. <laughs> you definitely have, Ken. You better look out. Way to represent, my friend. The fans are loving it, and so am I. What a way to end the season. I can't believe how well you did. I knew I made the right choice in signing you. Congratulations. Congratulations on surviving your first pro season. As your reward, DC has given you access to something very exclusive. You're in the big leagues now, muchacho. This is one serious perk of the job. We're turning the Battersea compound into a driving nirvana for you to sharpen your skills or simply cut loose and have a little fun. We've just renovated the parking lot. Here you can drift the donut to your heart's content. Oh, and look out for the awesome four-way jump we put in. You totally gotta check it out. Okay, you're definitely not a rookie anymore, but it's time to prove to the world that you're a legitimate driver or risk becoming a one-hit wonder. Only way to do that is to get out there and keep grabbing podiums. Agreed. Interest in you has grown, so you have a choice between two championships to start off the season. Have a look. 